I'm Dale Wells, Work-Based Learning Coordinator for Nash County Public Schools. We provide opportunities for our students to learn about the future jobs that are available in Nash County. Some students go on to college to a two-year degree, but we have lots of students that are in their internships and still working there today. So today we want to share with you their stories. We've gone through the district, we found interns still working, and we want you to hear what their jobs are all about. Hello, I'm Chad Thompson, the Executive Director of Career and Technical Education and Workforce Development for Nash County Public Schools. I am here to talk a little bit about work-based learning here in Nash County Public Schools. We are excited that we give opportunities for students to engage in work-based learning, which include uh, internships, pre-apprenticeships, advanced studies, and a lot of other areas where we give students experience in their work-related career choices. A lot of our students have jobs and a lot of them have to work to help their families and so it gives them an opportunity to get a course credit to go to work and, um, and continue to help their families. Hello, my name is Sharon Barnes. I am a teacher here at Northern Nash High School. I am over the technology of Help Desk for its students. We were afforded the opportunity for a grant um, that allows students to actually participate with the IT Help Desk. The IT Help Desk actually um, was established about four years ago, and those students have the ability to work throughout the district with our IT department to repair Chromebooks, to actually work on any type of technology needs. I am Tremaine McQueen, the Executive Director of Technology here at Nash County Public Schools. And the interns this summer have that program has been a very outstanding addition to our team this summer. Uh, this team of interns quickly adapted to our work environment. They were really eager to learn new skills. They've also demonstrated excellent problem solving abilities. Some of them <laughs> took the initiative to, you know, just to take tasks on to, you know, like troubleshooting hardware issues, assisting others with uh, software updates, and, you know, just things on that um, uh, platform. My name is Manny Lopez, graduate of 2024 from Nassau Dry. Um, currently working at Nash County uh, Public Transportation as a diesel mechanic. During high school, I think from my sophomore year to my senior year, I took automotive classes from automotive foundations to automotive two honors. I, mean, I grew up working on cars with my dad um, my whole life. So that's why I started taking automotive. Um, after years of doing that, I thought I decided to do something bigger, go on to diesel engines, see how that works out pick up a new trade. I mean, I am a college student right now. Um, I go to Nash Community as a, um, to get my welding technology degree. But I only go at night because classes aren't real for me. I go once, twice a week. Um, but college isn't for everybody. Um, I think the CT program will help a lot of kids with developing skills that they need if college isn't for them. Hi, I'm Michael Byer from Nash County Public Schools. I am the transportation director here at the school bus garage. So, so the first time I seen uh, Manning come up, you brought him up here and he was eager to learn. Um, he had a great positive attitude and that's all I'm looking for right now. Hi, my name is Kaylee May and I'm the corporate recruiter for Edwards Incorporated. The Nash County Public Schools work-based learning program has impacted the Edwards pipeline since 1985. We hope to see the program have an even big, bigger impact in the future. Edwards Incorporated has had many success stories from this initiative connecting students to full-time jobs within our company after graduation. As the corporate recruiter, I observe many trends in the workforce, especially for skilled trade careers. By allowing students to experience the work environment, understand the schedule, and gain hands-on experience while in high school will help them determine whether the skilled trades are the right career path for them. This approach enables Edwards Incorporated to cultivate a strong pipeline of young adults interested in our industry. The skills that Edwards Incorporated looks for in high school students to become part of our work-based learning program are soft skills. It's not about 
you know, your skills of welding or your skills of the electrical trade and whatnot. It is about your soft skills. Are you going to show up to work on time? Are you a trainable employee? Hi, my name is Mitchell Turner. I'm a graduate of Southern Nash High School, class of 2024. The internship that I took in the year of 2024 allowed me to get my foot into the door at the Edwards Pipe Shop. The biggest challenge to from graduating to full-time work was two things for me. It was transferring from a school schedule to 12 hours a day, just nearly every day of the week, and then being able to go from full-time, um, or coming from part-time to full-time. If you like your internship, um, if you like your internship, then work hard. If you like the job and the field you're going into, work hard, do quality work, and more than likely they will hire you on. My name is Russell Cole Langley. I was a student for Nash County Public Schools. Now I work in the maintenance department for Nash County Public Schools. Uh, this internship has impacted my career by letting me expand my uh, all of my skill sets. Um, and what I mean by that is it's more than just heating and air or electricity. I get uh, a little bit of plumbing, carpentry, roofing. It's, it's a little bit of everything. Uh, my biggest challenge is uh, learning how to keep up. Uh, when I was working, you know, part time in high school, I, we really only had time for about one job a day, so it was easier for me to retain what I was learning. And now I got time for four or five jobs a day, so it was harder for me to keep up. But I uh, remedied that situation by uh, I got a. Uh, pencil and notepad and I started taking notes and drawing diagrams to help me retain better. Um, the advice I give other high school seniors that go through this program is um, only you can determine your future. So set a goal, uh, work hard, trust Jesus, and be yourself and then uh, just make it happen. Hello, my name is Brian Hennett. I'm the Energy Manager Coordinator for Nash County Public Schools. What made Cole stand out was his work ethic. He just loves to work and he didn't mind, you know, doing whatever. He'd go from picking up tools to carrying light bulbs. He didn't matter what he was doing. For me, I think Cole's biggest challenge was learning to work with others around here. Somebody he may not have been used to working around, to me, that was his biggest challenge to me. We did not hesitate to hire a, a young individual such as Cole because he has good work ethic and he works well with others. Hi, I'm Christy McLean. I'm a senior at Rocky Mount High and an intern at the Northern Nash Children's Center. It's been interesting and, well, the interesting part is because like the kids getting attached to you and learning you and, you know, understanding different things. Well, if you, if you really like working with kids, this is the actual way to go. And it, it gives you more hands-on with understanding what they like, understanding what they need. And I guess it's, it's, a, great, it's a great opportunity. The next step for me is opening a daycare. Hello, my name is LaTanya Ely and I am the early childhood teacher here at Rocky Mount High School. And the first piece is that they really get to get in the classroom and be hands on with the children. That is the biggest component of our class is that we work individually in small groups or large groups with the preschool and early childhood learners. Um, and that gives them that opportunity that they know what they're looking forward to when they get into an internship um, in early childhood. 